Welcome back everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T. How are we all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about singer Keelani being at odds with her baby daddy, Javon. He claims that she's in a religious cult. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments and please turn on your notifications. All right, you guys, I saw the headline. I know I posted it in the community post. I saw the headline of this guy claiming that she was in a religious cult. Now, I 100% believe that. She's involved in the music industry. She's a mainstream artist. She just signed to Rock Nation. I covered that a few months back after she initially signed. I covered that. I covered her being uh, involved with Rock Nation or getting a deal with Rock Nation. So now her baby daddy is claiming that she's in some type of cult. I'm like, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how Rock Nation gets down. And again, it's not just them. This is the whole industry. But I really wanted to see what Javon had to say. So um, instead of just reading tweets of people attacking him, because you know that's how it is. When you attack somebody's favorite celebrity or a celebrity that they like, you know, or when you go when you go after them or call yourself exposing them, their fans are going to be quick to call you broke, bitter, you know what I mean? Like, that's like what they, that's like the go-to. So I found this article written by Edward Sagara. Shout out to him from USA Today. Let's read this. So um, they're saying that Javon Young White, who is the baby daddy to their daughter, Adea, filed his custody petition on July 24th. He's demanding full custody and he wants Keelani to undergo a psychological exam, citing the singer's mental health struggles and alleged membership in a cult. He says, I am not here to disparage Keelani. However, the environment that she has created for herself is not the kind of environment that a child should be living in. And therefore, I bring myself to the mercy and wisdom of the court to save my daughter before it is too late. Sorry if you heard me slightly burp. I just had some orange juice. Okay, so this is really interesting. Um, he claims that everyone has a bigger say when it comes to their daughter than he does. And he says that there are some members in this cult who control her actions and her behavior, um, Keelani. They said, he said that these cult members control Keelani's actions and behaviors and that um, they have, again, a lot of saying and control over their daughter's upbringing. Um, he says that there's some cult leader named Nito or Neto and that that guy had a vision that um, that Javon was a danger to their daughter and would hurt her, would unalive their kid. That sounds like some Aleister Crowley bullshit. Like some fucking raggedy ass, random, scamming ass cult leader. Like, oh, I had a vision. Bitch from who? Oh, I had a vision that this was gonna happen. I cannot stand them kind of people. Like them stupid ass, faux spiritual people. And this is why I'm on Javon's side. Now I know a lot of you guys think he's um, LGBTQ himself and he is a very feminine guy he is I'm not gonna lie um, he's feminine but at the end of the day it's very clear that Keelani used him for a kid because she needed a kid to level up in the damn industry I keep telling y'all this is how it works you you need to have a kid Keelani has like screwed so many different guys and girls she could have adopted a baby with one of her, like, she just got divorced from some woman. And wasn't that woman of Rock Nation, like, executive or something? Like, see what I'm saying? Like, it's so obvious that this stuff is, like, really happening. I'm telling you, Kilani just got, like, some kind of divorce or annulment from her wife. And it was a lady who was working for Rock Nation. So, again, Javon is not just pulling shit out of his ass like he's not um but again it's these like cult people again Alistair Crowley used to say that all the time like oh I had a vision and I saw this and I saw like bro you on them drugs bro get away from me with this bullshit so these cult people are claiming that Javon was gonna hurt their kid and that's why he needs to stay away from their kid um, Javon also claims that the daughter is left under the care of the cult members when Keelani is on tour and that he accused 
Neto or this Neto loser of performing religious ceremonies on Adea and another cult member named Messiah of bathing with the five-year-old while being under the influence of psychedelic drugs. Guys, that is when I was like, yeah, I'm totally covering this because what he's talking about, what Javon is talking about is satanic ritual abuse. Textbook satanic ritual abuse. That's why I'm not so quick to just be like oh yeah he's just a bitter baby daddy he's just trying to get some money out of her he's just mad no that is satanic ritual abuse that is how the industry works they start kids off young and again it's just proving or vindicating my thoughts that again Kilani had a kid because she needed to turn something over she needed an offering to the industry because Again, if this was all about Kilani, then why aren't they doing religious ceremonies on her? Why aren't they drugging and bathing with her? Why aren't they in the gag as they are? <laughs> but wh why can't it just be her? You know what I mean? She's the one who wants to be on the fucking world stage. She's the one that wants to be recognized. Why can't they just do a million, you know, r rituals on her? Why does her daughter have to be involved? Red flag, pay attention. And then Javon goes on to say, I have been trying to express my fear, anger, and concern to Kilani about our daughter's living environment and when she's on tour and when she is with her cult who essentially live in her home. Again, a bunch of bums who ain't got no real damn jobs. And then he says, however, instead of addressing my feelings, she resorts to disparaging me online to her millions of social media followers. Typical narcissistic behavior. Regarding her spiritual life, Kilani has previously opened up about following the Regla de o Oca, or Ocha religion, also known as Santeria. Again, witchcraft. She says, it's a religious, it's a gorgeous religion that I didn't seek out, but it sought me. Come on, you guys. Come on. Oh, I didn't seek Santeria out. It sought me. Oh, I'm sure it did, being involved in the damn industry. Um, she claims, Kilani claims, I was told upon arrival that I was headed towards a really young death. Again, scammers who have all these fake ass visions. I was headed towards a really young death in a couple of different ways, whether it be that I called it upon myself or as a result of the environment I was in or just that have or just things that I have been chasing. Things that have been chasing me my whole life. My life was saved by some really incredible elders. No, your life was manipulated and hijacked by some really skilled old dusty demons again who don't have real jobs and their jobs are being the witches of hollywood who energy harvest people that's what's going on here and then of course as the article goes on javon has requested again full custody he says that kilani has a busy schedule and then her relationship with the cult and that she's also been diagnosed with bipolar disorder again i know she has been because Kilani's been in the industry for a while. Once they do some of this um, MK Ultra programming on you, it splits your mind. These people know how to make you mentally ill. They give you mental illness by, again, by um, doing satanic ritual abuse on you, doing MK Ultra programming. Like there, there are ways. Again, you guys should know this by now. Butterfly programming, putting someone through so much strategic trauma that it cracks their mind. So they do this stuff to create different personalities because the more personalities you have, the better slave you are and the more they can control you and the more demons can enter you and work through you. He says that um, our baby daddy Javon goes on to say, without the course intervention, our daughter will continue to be in the custody of a drug abusing cult instead of being with me, the father. Yikes. He's, just, he's afraid of his daughter being actually abused and all other kind of shit. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Again, Javon, more power to you. Shout out to you for being brave. It's really brave of him to even, you know, go against these people. I mean, he's naming names. He's naming names. He's naming things that have happened. And again, it aligns with all of the stuff that I've told you guys. It aligns with what I know. It aligns with the Crowleyan magic. You know, again, if you guys don't know who Alistair Crowley is, major, major um, founder of like a lot of satanic practices. Like this guy is a big deal in the satanic 
community and then the Illuminati, like, big, big deal. So, everything Javon is saying, I believe, because it's not far-fetched. Again, it's stuff that you can look up, refer back to, source, site. This guy is not crazy. Kilani has a history of being messy, being, you know, kind of all over the place. Jeff definitely always romantically involved with somebody. Like, she's just not somebody who should have ever became a mom in my opinion because she's just too promiscuous in the first place like people who are promiscuous like that you don't need to always be having a a new person around your kid like and again like parenthood is not for certain people if you want to you know do santeria and and hoe out and get and do drugs and go on tour like you probably shouldn't be a mom but the industry wants you to be again so they can abuse your kid and then they can raise them up in this bullshit so that's what's going on here clearly Kilani had this baby for an offering I don't recall her and this dude ever really being together um again she's been like in everybody else's bed for like the longest and I've never seen her and Javon have like a real relationship so I think she just used this dude I think she used him and now he's aware of what's going on with her and he's like no i gotta save my kid so i hope he's able to save his kid however i do think he's gonna have a hell of a fight on his hand because this girl has got that rock nation backing you know what i mean and rock nation definitely has the courts and the legal system justice system in the pocket you see what happened with megan and tori um you know they're definitely gonna pay her legal fees because they have a vested interest in her and that baby so he's got to fight he's gonna need god he's gonna need real intervention from jesus himself because this is not a justice fight or this is not a legal fight this is a spiritual battle and i hope javon knows that i think he knows that but i hope that he's not so out there that he doesn't think he can turn to God himself or Jesus himself for help because he's going to need some real spiritual intervention to help him fight these demons because that's what's really going on here this guy has real demons to fight it's not just regular people um again Rock Nation they're doing what they need to be doing Kilani is in the press more she's got this new feature on that song that is named after her you know so Rock Nation they're they're doing their job she's got that tiny desk concert that she just did you know what i'm saying like she's she's picking back up she's getting budget she's getting press and promo you know rock nation they'll make it happen for you but you gotta give something so let's talk in the comments y'all what y'all think talk to y'all the next one bye